and this is this is essentially Flutter for Flutter. Mm -hmm. So this is Flutter, Flutter's account on Flutter, and right. today you see that I followed 121 people. Um, you have actually a daily limit on uh, Twitter limits you to a thousand, about a thousand a day. Mm -hmm. So um, so that's sort of the only limit. Other than that, it's essentially just you know you just start clicking these people, right? And yep. uh, Actually, I, I've I've gone to my follow limit uh, for today, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, uh, because I've been doing a lot of followers. Maybe this wasn't the best account to, to to use. But essentially, what you do is is you have these users of interests here on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. What what these users of interests actually um, represent are accounts that mm -hmm. their followers would be good candidates for your account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, these are existing products out in the market. So right. because other people are following this um, for this Tweepy or uh, Social Bro or Target Pattern or you know Moz for example, they were more more likely to be uh, interested in our products as well. Yep. And so that's that's basically the premise. Now, once you followed all these people, and the reason why I can't follow more people is because I'm, I'm, I'm Twitter has a couple different limits. So you know what I'll do right now? I'll, I'll go unfollow a bunch of people. So. Mm -hmm. Go to my unfollow panel and 894 people. This number represents the people that I followed that did not follow me back. Gotcha. So essentially, I'll just go back and I'll just you know I'll just click through all these people that didn't follow me back. And this is actually one of the most powerful pieces of this product is that we um, we sync with Twitter very constantly, and so we have a, a real time snapshot of exactly the people who didn't follow you back, which was much much. It's it's fantastic compared to you know when you were doing it just clicking on random people on Twitter. Yeah. Um, this, this is this gives gives you a list of just you know you can go through this pretty quickly, and uh, you unfollow all the people that didn't unfollow you back, and um, you're kind of cruising. It also has as you see like activity filters. So mm. if I want people I didn't so all the people that I followed were tweeted in the last seven days. That's actually something that's part of um, you know the algorithm on the follow side. Um, now, if, for example, you go back in time and you look at all my followers, you'll see that I have people that, in, this is all the people that I followed throughout my whole career on my account. And right, right. So if I, I may have some people that are like, you know, 30 days, I don't. So just seven days. So all these people haven't tweeted in seven days, and I can almost assume that they're not very active, and um, I could probably unfollow them too. But the point is, is that for right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use um, this particular filter, and this is the people that um, I followed in the last 12 hours and didn't follow me back. So we gave them 12 hours essentially to follow us back, and yep. just kind of go through this pretty quickly, and um, and hmm. that's essentially that's the product. I mean, it's really, really, really straightforward and really simple. Yeah, uh, we we just kind of um, essentially just a really easy technique to sort of master. Uh, there's not much learning curve associated with it, and right. uh, and uh, we see that there's great returns. So just to kind of show you, um, you know, maybe we can jump into this. So that 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 you know, I just unfollowed like you know 500 people right there. Or, or right, so. and that was what like that took you two minutes, and you didn't even you weren't doing it consistently either. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was, you know, I wasn't really right. So that's awesome, right? Like doing that. If you were to go in in, in a manual strategy like you used to do, right? And like right. find people of influence and then try to follow 500 people, that would have taken you at least half an hour, right? right. Exactly. Um, yeah. But as you see, I'm now it's letting me follow people because I don't have a limit anymore because I unfollowed a bunch of people. Yeah. So, so I'm just flying through this list pretty quickly. Uh, a little trick you can do is is um, on your on your Mac. Um, instead of actually uh, like register the clicks on tap and not on click, so mm -hmm. you can you can just tap pretty quickly and, and just kind of fly right by those. Right, right, right. Um, and that, that's really the gist of it. Great. Um, so now I'd like to show you why we built this product. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's just kind of jump really really quickly into the case study. So I yeah. had this startup. It was literally, I was working on it maybe for like a month or two. And essentially, um, it was, this is the landing page that I built. Mm -hmm. So, very, very simple landing page, obviously. Um, you know, it's, it, 
looks pretty terrible compared to what you'd get in quick MVP. Mm -hmm. And essentially, you know, it, it gets done essentially what we wanted to do, right? So you can sign up pretty quickly. Yep. And the idea was that when you sign up, you tell them you caught us before we were ready. We're putting the finishing touches on Entertain. If you'd like to notify us when it's ready, finish signing up. So essentially they, they put their, um, you know, their state, their country rather. Yep. And what type of, uh, yeah, so we got that. Okay. The, the state that they're in, I guess. Oh, I forgot how to even use this. Anyway, so, um, so you sign up, and then they say, and then we write like, "Thanks for expressing interest." Now, mm -hmm. using, using um, Flutter, so we built we to to visit to essentially. So actually, let me let me backtrack. So before Flutter was even built, yeah, I, I was essentially using this technique, and I was able to get. So these are the people that signed up. I was able to get 135 signups, and these mm -hmm. are people that are interested in my product. All the emails I can, you know, interact with them. Um, and as soon as I kind of turn the switch, as soon as I, you know, that was sort of my, my validation. Yeah. But, I, but as soon as I kind of figured that how powerful this technique is, I totally ditched this idea for Flutter. <laughs> <laughs> right. Flutter's uh, sort of it's very powerful and. Uh, right. Yeah. So that's so, awesome. So like that's a great pivot, right? So the process that you use to try to hack uh, gaining followers for an existing product actually became a more compelling product um, yeah. for you to build in the future. It was um, certainly an interesting pivot. <laughs> yeah, right, totally. Very cool. And so how many people did you end up uh, following? Well, so you used that approach. You got 130 followers, but were you mathematical about... Um, how many people that you followed to get 135 signups? Oh, so you're. I actually missed one point that I probably okay. should. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll quickly jump back in. Okay. Um, so, if I look at the account, this is Entertain's Twitter account. Uh, I mean, I got 9,400 followers. So, that's wow. pretty. That's pretty significant, and I mean. It wasn't just the followers, right? The most amazing thing about it, <laughs> if you can see, I, I'm doing a little advertisement here for Flutter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, but what what was amazing about it is when you actually tweeted, which I, you know, this is actually part of it, right? You have to tweet. Um. I'm sorry. I, I need to find. Uh, here we go. Okay. So when I actually tweeted things, we got like 11 uh, retweets and nine favorites. We had 29 retweets and nine favorites. I mean, we had some really, really good engagement, which yeah. was really, really exciting. We had 34 retweets and 28 favorites. I mean, right. I, I made connections from here. I had people reach out to me saying they want to blog for me. I mean, it was amazing. It was amazing right. Right. What, what you kind of got from, um, from this sort of, you know, essentially it's like a little hack. Yeah, and... and Wait, who were your customers for the the um, Entertain app? Um, who were my customers? So they essentially were, and this is one of the reasons why I actually uh, left that idea. I kind of ditched that idea mm -hmm. was because I realized that my target audience didn't really have money. Um, right. My target audience was like the starving artist. Yeah. And you know, I I I thought it was a great idea. I thought a lot of people would need it, but just. Mm -hmm. You know, my target audience, you know, during the validation process, I realized after, like, interviewing and talking to a lot of people, I realized they really didn't have money to spend on a social network because, obviously, yeah. it was going to be, it was gonna be like a, sort of a paid social network. Right. So um, that, that, was, that was it. So as soon as I and, – and I was able to validate it so, so quickly yeah. um, using this technique because all of a sudden I was getting, you know, tons of – and I got, like, pretty famous people who were, yeah. like, you know, people with, like, you know, 30, 40, 50,000 followers. They were tweeting at me saying, wow, you guys, or what are you guys up to? People were just fascinated by the fact that we had 9,000 followers. They were like, wow, yeah. this, this, this must be cool. Right, so right. That's, yeah, that was, that was exciting stuff. 